What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another movie reaction. This time, my first time watching The Hunger Games from 2012. Now, we're taking it back to the original. I know there's four movies, I believe, total in this series starring Jennifer Lawrence. And I wanted to watch this one in particular since the brand new prequel movie, I should say, is coming out on November 17, 2023. And I actually reacted to that Hunger Games trailer prequel, and I let you guys know, should I watch these movies starting with that one or starting from the Jennifer Lawrence films? And it seems unanimous from the comment section that you guys wanted me to check out the original from 2012. And it's also important to note that if I do like this one, I have all the other ones in my collection ready to go after it. So enough talking, let's get to watching because I don't know much about this movie. I have seen a trailer way over 10 years ago and i believe this is a battle royale type of situation though i don't really know why i don't know the story i don't know the villains i don't know really what jennifer lawrence's character is here to do so that's the best way i like to go into these movies not knowing a thing about them so you guys can get my honest and genuine reaction along the way so enough talking let's get to watching but before we do if you guys want to show love and support the channel always make sure to hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today hit that bell notification so you guys always get notified when i do drop new content and if you guys are watching this video on youtube and want to watch the full uncensored reaction make sure to click on my patreon link down in the description below as well as all my social medias all right flix talkers so without further ado my first time watching the hunger games from 2012. by the way guys thank you so much for allowing me to hit 38,000 subs and growing guys this is fantastic i appreciate everyone that's been rocking with me since day one and all the new subscribers Welcome to the channel, guys. We watch a lot of movies here, and I can't wait to watch more with you guys. All right, let's get into the Hunger Games. A reaping? That doesn't sound good. Oh my, it is like a, a, a death game. I think it's our tradition, mm -hmm. but it's been the way we've been able to heal. What, what defines your personal signature? Your beard, definitely your beard. Shh, it's okay. It's your first year, Prim. Your name's only been in there once. They're not gonna pick you. So her sister might get offered to these games, it sounds like. The younger sister. Oh man, so it's a poor life in this area or district or... So every town has this like fenced off border area? By the way, I don't know this time. I don't know if this is like in the future, far future. I, I don't really know anything about this. Other than this is like a big, big one for Jennifer Lawrence, I heard. Bro, that was dinner. Damn you, Gail. What are you gonna do with a hundred pound deer, catnip? Catnip? <laughs> okay, definitely futuristic or, or just not of this world, maybe. I mean, sometimes these, you know, stories just don't even take place in, in a time. You know what I mean? What if they did? Just one year, what if everyone just stopped watching? Well, they won't, Gail. Well, what if they did? You root for your favorites, you cry when they get killed, it's sick. Gail. Yeah. If no one watches, then they don't have a game. They're recording it too? Isn't that crazy that a situation like this would make you not want to have kids? Because you kind of know their fate if you grow up in a, a world like this. What's this? That's a mockingjay. How much? You keep it. It's yours. Thank you. A beautiful piece. Damn, this shit is scary. I've definitely seen movies like this before. They have, you know, games that where they fight to the death and they film it like a running man, if you've ever seen that movie, but not with kids. So she's part of it too, or she's just walking her to the... I forgot the ages already. I think it's like 10 to 16 or something. Okay, it's time to sign in now. Okay, they're gonna pick your finger just to take a little bit of blood. You didn't say. Oh, no. It doesn't hurt much. Just what? For what? Taking blood for what? Go ahead. Next. What the f <laughs> This is crazy! <laughs> so since Jennifer Lawrence is older, her character, she's probably been through it. 
and just not been picked, I'm guessing. This was the uprising that rocked our land. Thirteen districts rebelled against the country that fed them. And then came the peace. Hard fought, sorely won. A people rose up from the ashes and a new era was born. That each year, the various districts of Pan Am would offer up in tribute one young man and woman to fight to the death. The lone victor, bathed in riches, would serve as a reminder of our generosity and our forgiveness. This is how we remember our past. This is how we safeguard our future. So it's just a remembrance game? Like, someone's gonna die every year? <laughs> as usual, ladies first. Primrose Everdeen. No way! Isn't it her first time being there? <laughs> Prim! Prim! I volunteer as tribute! <laughs> oh my god! So that's how she gets in the game. And now, for the boys. Wonder if it's gonna be her guy friend. Peter Malark. Here we are, our tributes from District 12. I cannot believe this. I, I didn't know this was like this dark, like some dark nature shit. There's always an, an added layer of evil when it's younger kids, you know? I mean, I know they're teenagers, but still, it doesn't matter. Like that's, there's, I don't know. They just haven't lived their life, you know? You really want to know how to stay alive? You get people to like you. A knife or even some matches can mean the difference between life and death. And those things only come from sponsors. Uh, this is like real life sometimes. At least in the online world. It's very interesting. Come on. Come on. Man, this kid's a little too excited, man. You're a dancing monkey. You know this, right? Better keep this knife. He knows what he's doing. Sinner. And I'm here to help you in any way that I can. Lanny Kravitz? Now, usually they dress people in the clothes from their district. I want to do something that they're going to remember. Oh man, this is still so bizarre that like, you know, the higher ups, the rich, the wealthy, they watch these games, you know, that obviously have the lower class fighting against each other. What is that? background <laughs> they're on fire what the heck oh yeah he's he's getting it oh they're definitely making an impression in two weeks 23 of you will be dead who that is depends on how well you pay attention over the next four days everybody wants to grab a sword but most of you will die from natural causes 10% from infection, 20% from dehydration. Damn. Exposure can kill as easily as a knife. Wow. So they get four days of training, and then in two weeks they gotta go fight. Hey, at least they get some training. Mental games, too? From District 1. And 2. They train in a special academy until they're 18. Then they volunteer. They're pretty lethal. That is kind of smart, though. Having your district train certain individuals for these games, and then they volunteer? Wow. Is that the little girl from the orphan? How did you do that? I used to decorate the cakes down at the bakery. See? Camouflage. Oh, yeah, I think you have a shadow. Oh, but that means she's gonna have to kill her, right? Eventually, Rue. Someone's gonna kill her. <laughs> oh, I don't like. You can't make friends in movies like this, man. You can't. Even the guy that she's partnered with, you know, from the same district. Not partnered, but she went with. She'd have to kill him. Katniss Everdeen, District Twelve. She's like, I gotta announce myself. These guys aren't even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
gonna have to wow them, man. These are the guys that pay your salaries. Or that pay your... They're the sponsors, I'll just say. Ooh, nice. Oh. They weren't looking that type. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> Thank you for your consideration. You know, curtsy. <laughs> I hope you noticed we have a serious situation. Yeah. What 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 did they what did they do when you shot the apple? Well, they looked pretty startled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he loved that. As you know, the tributes were rated on a scale of 1 to 12 after three days of careful evaluation. Cato, score of 10. Clue, score of 10. District 3. Of district 4. Score of... From District 7. Peter Malock. Score of... 8. Wow. <gasps> Excellent. Peter. Yeah, bravo. Katniss Everdeen. Let's see if she made an impression. With a score of... 11. <gasps> 11? I thought it was out of 10. <laughs> this is so crazy how they put him on display like this, man. Oh man, she can't hear anything. She's in her own head. What? I think someone's a little nervous. Now tell me about the flames. Are they real? Yes. Would you like to see? Wait, wait, wait. There's a button she can just turn it on or what? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I have one more question for you. It's about your sister. You volunteered for her at the reaping. Did she come and say goodbye to you? She did. She did. And what did you say to her? In the end. I told her that I would try to win. That I would try to win for her. And try you will. Ladies and gentlemen from District 12, Katniss 17, the girl on fire! Wow. He put that thought back in her head. She almost like forgot it, just based on what's been going on the last couple of weeks. Is there a special girl back home? No. I don't believe it for a second. There is this one girl that I've had a crush on forever, but I don't think she actually recognized me until the reaping. Cadness? You go out there and you win this thing. She'll have to go out with you. But I, uh, I don't think winning's gonna help me at all. And why not? Because she came here with me. Wow! Well, that's bad luck. Yeah, it is. Put it all out there. Ooh. What the hell was that? You don't talk to me and then you say you have a crush on me? You say you want to train alone? Is that how you want to play? Stop huh? it! Stop it! Let's start right now! Hey, now I can sell the star-crossed lovers from District 12. We are not star-crossed lovers. It's a television show. Being in love with that boy might just get you sponsors, which could save your damn life. Manners. <laughs> Everything matters. Oh, man. But I wonder if he said that just to get in her head, or I wonder if he really likes her. And plus, why do they design it? So they have to kill each other. Why can't it just be if one district, you know, the couples, if they stay alive, then they both win? Damn. You can do this. Thanks. So oh, crazy. I don't even know Woody Harrelson was in this. Give me your arm. What is that? Chip? Your tracker. Here. Thirty seconds. 
Oh my god. I cannot believe this is already like an hour has passed by already. Over an hour. And they haven't even shown the game yet. The build-up is fantastic so far. Shit. They're all in the same location starting off. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, he said all the weapons are going to be right there in the middle. <laughs> Get him pumped. Get him pumped. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 23, 22. Oh, he wasn't going to watch. Oh shit. Oh man. Yep, get a backpack. Yo! Oh, that's the orphan. <laughs> Damn, half of them like got off right there. <laughs> These are kids, man. Killing each other. Oh my. That was a little child. Oh my God. What about Rue? Did they kill Rue yet? She looked like she was like 10 or 11. Matches. And of course, there's the familiar boom of the cannon, which marks the end of another fallen tree. Laura believes, Laura, my wife, believes that butterflies are good luck, or it's a good omen. That's what they told her to do, get to high ground. Is there a camera in there? What? <laughs> That's crazy. Doesn't even have their names. <laughs> Damn. Are they like in a dome or something? Like in some kind of sphere? <laughs> oh, they're teaming up. Oh, another one bites the dust. But they're eventually gonna have to kill each other at the end. How do they, what do they draw straws or what? <laughs> you sure she went this way? Yeah, I'm sure. You better be. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I told you! He's our best chance of finding her. Oh, he said that to play her! Oh, you can't... No, you don't trust anybody. Not even from your own district. Once again, what does it matter if it's gonna come down to one person winning? Why would you even form an alliance? She is almost at the edge. Two kilometers away from the nearest tribute. Let's turn her around. What the hell? They're shooting fireballs at her to get her to... Oh! What? This is like cheating! <laughs> Can you give me a tree right there? Sure. Tree. Oh, they're controlling all the environment, huh? So is this not real? Is this like some kind of... I mean, it's real. It's that's real. Ooh. Let's just wait her out. She's got to come down at some point. That or starve to death. Yeah. 
Stay alive. H. Oh, it's something for her burn. Some kind of like antiseptic ointment or something. <laughs> okay, so they can send in little care packages. <laughs> Dang, there's levels to this game, man. Rubbing shoulders with the right people is what you want to do. Oh, Rue! Whoa. Uh -oh. I think those are tracker jackers. Am I wrong? Tracker jackers? Tracker jackers are genetically engineered wasps whose venom causes searing pain, powerful hallucinations, and in extreme cases, death. Oh my god, <laughs> genetically modified a wasp! Oh, here we go! This is wild shit. This is so wild to me. This whole thing is wild to me, man. The Hunger Games. I did not... I thought they just threw kids like in a real-life setting of... This ain't real life, man. This is like modified everything. The only thing that's real, real, real deal is the emotion of staying alive. Of staying alive. <laughs> she get bit? Or stung. Sorry. Stung. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna start hallucinating. Oh no! Oh, you're dead, girl. You are dead. Oh yeah, she's tripping. It's kicking in. It is kicking in. <laughs> she got stung like four times, at least. Oh my god, her head was like this big! She looks like the elephant man. Those tracker jackers are no joke. I thought he double crossed her. Whoa. That was trippy, just a little glitchy like the <laughs> Yeah, so what happened to her dad? Little coal mining community. Oh shit. Okay, so dad died in a coal mining accident. Is all of that true? You and him. <laughs> so where are Kato and the others? They got all their supplies down by the lake. Piled up in this great big pyramid. Oh, this is gonna be so sad. I'm already foreshadowing it, and I don't. God, why do they gotta do this shit? Why do they gotta do this shit? I mean, unless ha somehow they work together to stay alive, but I'm already foreshadowing it, and I'm already getting emotional. I don't like. I don't like this kid death shit. Unless it's like in a horror movie or something where it's like you know. Horror realm. This seems too real to me. <laughs> you stay gone, no more to get back. Now I want to see if she's gonna figure out this booby trap. Yes, it seems they've reburied their minds around that big pile of goodies. Mines? Who's that? She certainly figured it out, hasn't she? Oh, dang. Oh! Well, there go all the supplies. <laughs> oh, no. Katniss! Katniss! Every bit of it. 
good at me. You have to win. <sighs> a bed of grass, a soft green pillow. Close your Oh, I knew it was coming, man. <laughs> wow. Giving her a proper burial, so to speak. Someone that she didn't even know. But they all share, you know, a common bond of, of just being there being chosen as tribute in these games that I still don't understand why they exist. I still don't understand. And what is this, man? What is that? Am I doing it right? What does that mean? Like we honor you? Wow, they're revolting. You have a lot of anger out there. I know you know how to handle a mob. You've done it before. If you can't scare them, give them something to root for. Young love. So you like an underdog. Everyone likes an underdog. I don't. There are lots of underdogs. And I think if you could see them, you would not root for them either. Be careful. Hmm. The regulations requiring a single victor have been suspended. From now on, two victors may be crowned if both originate from the same district. Oh my god! I was just saying it! I was literally just saying it. Why don't they have two if they're from the same district? So now they can work together as a team. But I, I don't know. She can't trust him now. God, oh shit! I didn't even see what I was. I didn't even know what I was looking at. <laughs> oh my god, he's great at that makeup work. What was it? The sword. Cadis. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Just get you some medicine. Katniss, I don't get many parachutes. We'll figure something out. Like what? <laughs> something. I am so surprised that she is like still helping this guy. Or oh, got cameras in there. Oh my god, I forgot about this guy. I forgot about him. Oh, awkward. Was that another parachute? No. So you fed me once. I think about that all the time. How I tossed you that bread. I remember the first time I saw you. After that, I I watched you going home every day. Every day. We'll say something. I'm not good at saying something. Then come here. Even if I don't make it. I don't know. I still feel like a twist coming from him. Like, I don't... Commencing at sunrise. There will be a feast tomorrow at the Cornucopia. Each of you need something. Your medicine. Dennis, you're not going to risk your life for me. I'm not going to let you. You would do it for me. Wouldn't you? Why are you doing this? I forgot about you real quick, boy. Dang. I'm surprised she doesn't have any leftover medicine from when she got burned. I mean, she could still, it's still an antiseptic. It's still. 
gonna clean the wound. Jesus! Where's lover boy? You were gonna help him, right? You know, it's too bad that you couldn't help your little friend. What was her name again? Rue? Yeah, well, we killed her. And now, we're gonna kill you. You kill her? I heard you. You said her name. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Uh, oh, what the hell? They're from the same district? Just this time, 12. For Rue. For Ru Oh, yeah! 11! There was a bag that said 11, and that's where she was from. Whoa, she got so lucky! The orphan got the upper hand, I can't believe that. She was like, so much smaller than her. And she was overpowering her. I got it. I got the medicine. Oh, wait. Pins and needles, all these guys watching. You better relax, perverts. Come on. <laughs> these are children. What the fuck is that? <laughs> They're going to send some cheetahs after them or something? Or panthers? or Y'all are rigging the game. They would say they're just making it more entertaining, which, yes. Yes, possibly, but you think about being there. <laughs> Oh! I was wondering if they were going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. So I think it's just Kato left. Jesus! That is not a dog. That is some GMO. Another GMO. Oh, they're just spawning. <laughs> Hit him up there. Oh man, here we go. Come on, you're a good shot. You can do it. Go on. Dead anyway. I always was, right? I didn't know that till now. How is that? Is that what they want? Huh? I can still do this. One more kill. Bring pride to my district. I was having an epiphany. Wow. They did it. Both them. Show them some mercy, too. They. What a finale. <laughs> so crazy. They control everything in that sphere. There has been a slight rule change. I... The previous revision allowing for two victors from the same district has been revoked. Only one victor may be <laughs> Are you kidding me? Good luck. And may the odds be ever in your favor. You've got to, come on. Even the audience is probably like, this is messed up. They had to throw another twist in there? They didn't need to do that. Go ahead. Oh. One of us should go home. One of us has to die. They have to have their victor. No. They don't. Why should they? No. Trust me. Trust me. What? I thought there was a bunch of sequels of, with her in it. What's happening? Stop! 
Stop! Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the winners of the 74th annual Hunger Games. <laughs> they called their bluff. Wow, they were gonna, they were really gonna kill each other. They're not happy with you. Why? Because I didn't die? Because you showed them up. Yeah. This is serious. Not just for you. They don't take these things lightly. Something's gonna happen with this guy, because he was already on thin ice. The, other, the gray-haired man didn't, like, didn't really even like him. Oh, hey. Like, man, you were changing up the rules way too much. You kind of, this is the annual thing. A very respectable, honorable thing, apparently. And you're, you're messing up. Oh, you eat the berries. When you found him by that river. I felt like the happiest person in the world. I couldn't imagine life without him. And what about you, Peter? I mean, she saved my life. We saved each other. The star-crossed lovers from District 12, this year's victors of the 74th Annual Hunger Games! 74th Annual. What a lovely pin. Thank you, it's from my district. They must be very proud of you. So what happens when we get back? I guess we try to forget. I don't want to forget. That's crazy. They have to put on a whole show for everybody. And then they have to go back to normal life. I already forgot what they win. They win a bunch of riches and gold and uh, or something. I don't know. Riches and food, probably, for their district or... So in essence, I mean, altogether, it is a big deal to win this thing. Wow! Okay! Based on a novel. Okay, I didn't know that. Based on a novel. All right. And that was 2012's The Hunger Games. All right, guys, so I finally got to watch The Hunger Games. Man, I remember when this first came out, there was a huge hype around it. Uh, I do remember probably seeing a trailer back, back in the day, and then after that, years after, they would show it on TV. So I'd catch clips here and there and whatnot, and I believe there was a lot of memes about this movie. I don't know if it was from this particular 2012 movie or it might have been the sequels, but I definitely remember seeing this character played by Jennifer Lawrence once again. Cadness Everdeen. So, what did I think? Wow. This is a very, very powerful story. Powerful, to say the least. So, let's just get to the story of this, which was incredible. Just, you know, hearing it laid out. This is the origin story, so to speak. I mean, there's sequels, you know, along the way. I believe four movies total. The third movie being a two-parter. So, I'll get this out of the way first and foremost. I will definitely see the sequel to this movie. I don't know the name of it, but I definitely have it in my collection. I will be watching it probably for the channel, most likely, since I did enjoy this first one. So the story itself was just, just amazingly, just unbelievable. Obviously, I mean, it's not a real event, but I could definitely, I, I just kept feeling in my heart, in my chest, you know, in my brain, in my all being, that this could be a possibility in the future. Not in my future, but someone's future, just down the line. We will get to a point where this could possibly be a thing, where some kind of purge happens and, you know, a reaping, they said, and this could definitely, you know, happen and, and you know, people are selected at, at random or a lottery or whatever, and uh, just craziness. Just craziness to think so much death could happen every single year, right? And they said this was the 74th annual. My God, my God, it, it's crazy. So, you know, uh, that was a crazy story, crazy aspect to kind of just grasp and comprehend. And once again, the age bracket. I think the age bracket is kind of what got me very emotional just to kind of think about kids, you know, going after each other, you know, fighting to survive. Uh, it, it's terrible when you see these things. Yes, it's a movie. I understand. I know that. But just when you get invested with these characters, even the character of Rue from District 11, which we didn't spend too much time with, but she's just so innocent and sweet. And, and you know, it, it, you're picked at random. I mean, they weren't trained killers. I mean, yes, the ones from, I forget the other district, but 
those ones were trained. You know, Kato and his squad were definitely trained. But when it came to Aru, she was like, how could you put her up against these guys, you know, and girls? There's, there's no standing a chance, right? So that was very uh, heartbreaking to see her passing in the movie. It, I definitely tugged at my strings because I knew it was coming. I knew the foreshadowing was there. I mean, you know, anyone involved in that game is going to die. I liked the layout, the building blocks along the way. This is a longer movie. I want to say like two and a half hours, something like that. An hour and 42 minutes. I think it's like two hours and 20 minutes, something like that. But um, I was fine with it. And I'm actually really... It's, it's really hard for me to love a movie that's over two hours unless I'm really, really invested in it. And this one was one that I was invested in, especially since probably the sequels are not going to just, you know, get so much into exposition of characters and stuff. Uh, maybe some new characters, but Katniss is already laid out. We already know what's going on with her and her district. We already know kind of what to expect from these games. I mean, the whole first half of the movie was just them laying all of that out. So that's fine now. So the action of this movie was really good it was actually for a p i'm guessing a pg-13 movie yeah pg-13 movie they kind of showed a lot and maybe that's just once again me going back to seeing kids kill kids on screen and they didn't really show you know close-ups and whatnot they showed gashes and you know people getting hit by arrows and blood and stuff like that but it was just enough you know not to be overbearingly brutal but you know enough to make you just your stomach just go ugh, you know like this is kind of wild stuff that we're seeing here so i did enjoy the action though i will say a gripe of mine is always shaky cam when it comes to this oh my god it can be so jarring and just it's almost like a cheap ploy to make it seem like a lot's happening just by shaking the camera around like that no 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 Give me a dang steady cam. Let me see some of this choreography. But I understand it's a technique used to hide the lack of choreography, okay? So I just don't personally like it. So that's going to kind of lack in my score, to be honest. It's, it's, it's really going to reflect in my score, I should say. But I think they really showed the marksmanship of Katniss Everdeen's character and what I could possibly expect from her in the sequel. So really did like that in the action department. So I think overall the story, man, I mean, it made me want more. It just made me want to watch the sequels like right now today. I know I'm going to wait a little bit, but I'm not going to wait too long because I don't want to forget about this, you know, original story that we got. So long story short, y'all saw my reaction along the way. I think I'm going to give 2012 The Hunger Games a solid four out of five all right flip stalkers what do you rate the hunger games out of five let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite part of the movie what was your favorite part of my reaction please let me know in the comments below once again and if you guys did appreciate my thoughts and reaction along the way please let me know by hitting that big thumbs up to support the channel and consider subscribing today hitting that bell notification as well to always get alerted when i do drop new content also if you guys are watching this reaction on youtube and want to watch the full uncensored an over two hour reaction I had for this movie. Make sure to click on my Patreon link down in the description below where you guys can join today for a seven day free trial. All right, Flix Talkers, till next one, I'm gone. Peace.